you can overestimate a little so that you don't buy too much or too many pipes. So today I'm going to show you how to use the working drawing which you prepare with the help of your electrical floor plan to calculate the number of pipes, the conduit pipes that is needed in your project. After which I will also walk you through piping of a particular apartment with the aim of achieving the conduit piping of a wall bracket. Hello wonderful people, you are welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, this is Electric Age and my name is Anand. So in today's uh, demonstration, I'm going to walk you through how to do the piping that involves wall brackets. Remember, in our previous video, we looked at how to route your piping, which will be done with the use of a looping box or looping boxes. In today's demonstration, we are going to look at how to do the piping of a particular building, whether big or small, but it involves wall brackets. So in this wall bracket, we are going to look at how to do the piping. It's just the same thing with the one that is done on the ceiling with fit, ceiling fittings. It is just the same thing. But in this case, you are going to avoid some of the openings like the windows. You don't put your wall brackets on the windows. You don't put your wall brackets on the doors. So you position your wall bracket such that it will not be disturbed or it will not disturb the window or the window will not disturb it. Whether you are using window blind or using ordinary cotton. So if you are interested, let's dive in. If you look closely, you are going to see a sketch. We are assuming that this is our working drawing and we... If you've watched this video up to this extent and you've not subscribed, you've not even liked our videos, what are you waiting for? Please, just smash the like button. Share for other people to see what you are doing. And you can also subscribe so that when next we post our video, you will not be left out. So do that quickly. Now let's continue. We've already consulted the electrical floor plan before we get this working drawing. Let me explain. Now, this is a self contained We are going to use a self pump to do this demonstration. This is the entrance of the self pump, the sit out, and it has two lighting points one and two. This is the room, this is the door, the entrance to the room, or the door to the room. This is one wall bracket. This is another wall bracket. This is, um, let's assume there will be fan in this room. Now, here is our kitchen. Here is our bathroom. Then if you take a look at this sketch, you're going to see our security light outside. This is one, this is two, this is three, this one is four. This one at the sit out is also security light, but sometimes it could be switched off. We may decide to switch it off in the night when we're going to bed or something and on other ones outside. Now, let's do the routine of the pipe before we now know the quantity of pipe needed to run this conduit piping or the conduit piping of this particular self con Now, let's calculate or let's do an estimation. How do we plan to know the exact number of pipes needed to do the conduit piping of this particular self pump. Now, firstly, let's try to route the pipe. This is, this is our room. Let's locate the switches. Now, this is switch. This is another switch. So, for the room, here for the kitchen. Let's have one switch here for the kitchen. This is one switch for the security, one switch for the room. Now, this one is for the kitchen. This one is for our bathroom. Or we can use one to control the bathroom, the bathroom and the kitchen, making it two guns. So that one now will be for our water heater. This is our water heater in the bathroom. This is our WC. 
So here we are locating our DB here. Our DB will be single phase since it's only one set on. Now, how do we start? We start by linking this switch, for instance, to this two wall brackets. Okay, assuming if we have four wall brackets, three or four wall brackets, what do we do? Now, if we have this here, this here, another one will come close to this wall or on this wall here, another one will come here. We can shift our switches. We can shift this one down. Here is another wall bracket. So, how do we link them? You can link them this way, starting from the switch. You can connect here. You connect these two that you want to light together. You connect them together. Connect this to this. Now, you now link this switch to the center. Remember, it's only the switch that is linked to the center. These ones are not connected to the, to the center box. Now, you now link one of these to the middle and one of these to the middle so that the switch can control this and this one gang. The same switch, another gang here, can control this and this one gang. That is it. Now, you can also link this switch. This switch is already linked to this center and it's three uh, pipes that are connected, remaining one leg, if you are using four-way uh, box. So, what you do it now is to take another mess, take another leg to this, to this point, kitchen lighting point, and connect it to the bathroom. Then, from here, you now locate the switch. This switch is going to be two gang switch, such that one gang is going to control the kitchen, the other gang is going to control the bathroom. Now, this particular switch will be connected to the water heater. Remember, the water heater, this is low. The supply is not yet connected to any of them. Now, we're going to link this switch, this switch, to your DP. Link it to your DP so that your mains must have reached here and there. Now, this one is coming the DB. We may not be discussing about the sockets today to shorten the time of this video. So this one, you connect it to this point and connect it to this switch. That is one gun. This leg can go to the DB. Then another gun from that switch. Another gun. You can make it two, two, two can switch. Another that gun can come from there. From here, you link to this. From here, it will come straight to this point. Just pay close attention. From this point, it will come straight to this point. And from here, it will locate this point. Straight. That's all for our wiring, as in our lighting point. We have three circuits. Two circuits for our lighting point. One circuit for our water heater. Now, let's calculate the length of pipe. If you take a closer look at this sketch, you will notice numbers here. From this point to this point, we have 1.5. So, for those of us that find it difficult reading building plan, I want you to pay closer attention now. Now, from here to here, you are seeing 1.5. This 1.5 is 1.5 meters. Now, 1 meter is 100 here. 1 meter is 100, around 39, around 39 inches. Now, this is 1.5. So, you now convert it to 
to food. When you convert it to food, you'll be able to multiply and know the number of foods that is there or get the accurate number. Now, for instance, 2 meters is about 6.5 feet why 3 meters is around 10 feet now if you have 1.5 meters here and here you have 4 meters we are going to assume that the 4 meters so assuming if one length of pipe assuming if one length of pipe one length of only pipe is 10 10 feet so let's check our pipes from here to this point should be around three lengths three lengths here from here to here should be around three lengths from here to here should be around three lengths so three plus three that is six plus another three it should be nine we we'll take nine down this is nine plus now when you calculate from here to here you check the length from this particular end to this end. We have 2.5 plus 1.9, which is around 4, which is around 4.4. Now, 4.4 is assumed that the length of pipe to complete from here to here should be around, should be around 2, around 2 and a half or thereabouts. So you should make your calculation such that you know the number of pipes that will fit into that length. So from this length to this length, already we've gotten the length needed for the for the for the one, two, three, four, the four security lights. So we now we are not going to calculate the number of pipes, other ones that we've not checked. Let's say from here to here we have one. From here to here we have. Um, one and a half, that is two and a half, plus another two and a half, that is around five, two and a half plus two and a half, that should be around five lengths, plus five. Then we now check from here to here, which should be around three, plus three. Then from here, from the water heater switch to the main water heater, we have like two lengths, plus two. Now, for this point of um, bedroom lighting to that of kitchen lighting, let's say plus another two. Plus another two. Now, from, from here to our switch, should give us, because we are going to go down as well, should give us two plus two. From here, this is the wall bracket, one of our wall brackets. This wall bracket will also go down to till you get to the top of your lintel. This is your lintel, that's why I put this sketch down. You are going to crack the wall from that top to top of the lintel. That is where you place, watch what I'm doing. Check it, just take a closer look. This is where you put your wall bracket. You crack and do your piping. Here, you may use one way box or you use your Y box if two pipes are coming down there. Or you use your U box, either Y box, U box, your N box or one way box. So here, it will go down. So we are going to check this one length, another length, that's two, plus extra one, that is three. Three plus this, this is three plus here we're going to estimate one and a half, one and a half plus extra one, that is four. We're going to put four down. Here, from here to our switch, we're going to estimate two plus two. So, I think we are making progress. So, by the time you calculate all of them based on the measurements or the length and width of each room, each point from one point to the other, you'll be able to get these values. Now, by the time you add the values, let's add the values. We have 9 plus 5, that is 14 plus 3, that is 17 plus 2, 19 plus 2, 21 plus 
plus is it three? That's twenty four plus three. That is twenty seven plus five. Thirty one plus two. That is thirty. Thirty one plus two. That is thirty three. Thirty three lengths. So if you are buying pipe, maybe you want to get the pipe that you need for this. You can pick one full bundle. That is for lightning. By the time you check the length of pipes or the quantity of pipes needed for your socket routing, you will see or get a rough estimation that it could be two bundles. You may not get up to two bundles, but you can go for two bundles of pipe so that you don't run short of pipes. Now, if you have watched this video up to this point, if you have watched this video up to this point and you've not subscribed, why not smash the like button? Share for other people to see what you are doing. And you can also subscribe so that when next we post our video, you will not be left out.